Hi, my name's Rich Boren, and I'm the owner of Cruiser Services, and we're the North American distributor for the Aussie Fridge Marine Refrigeration Unit. And today we're going to review the basic layout and features of the Aussie Fridge Compressor Unit. So when you look at the unit, right away you'll notice the unit is built into a stainless steel, 316 stainless cabinet. This does two main things. It makes it a nice compact unit, but it also gives protection to the hardware inside, depending on where you're gonna mount this unit. But it also plays a role in its efficiency because this large th triple pass condensing radiator on the back is going to have air pulled through it by the dual cooling fans on the front. So all of the compressor, the black box controller, everything is having the air that's removing the heat pulled through it and exhausted out the front. Some units have an open configuration or they have the cooling fan attached to the radiator. Those aren't as efficiently taking advantage of all of the radiator surface and having air pulled through. So that's an important part of its efficiency. Looking at the front of the unit, another thing that's unique to the Aussie Fridge design and layout is the dual cooling fans. Most units just have one cooling fan that's at a set speed, no matter if it's hot or cool, ambient environment, it's running at full speed. Well, that uses more power than could be necessary. And it also means your decibel noise level of your cooling fan is always right up there at the top. So what Ozzy Fridge has done, when the compressor turns on, fan number one always turns on. That's the, the minimum level of condensing cooling that you need. But fan number two only turns on when the exhaust air of the condensing radiator reaches a set point. So then the second fan turns on. That saves you noise level, makes for better, more efficient condensing, and it also saves you electrical power usage. Gives you the ability to run in the hot tropical environment, but if you're in a cold environment, if you're in a ambient temperature setting and have good ventilation around the unit, maybe you don't need the power usage and noise associated with a higher airflow. So everything Osfridge has done from the cabinet layout, the dual cooling fans, some of the other features we'll talk about, goes to make the Osfridge system the most energy efficient on the market in terms of daily amp hour usage. So if you're looking for the most efficient fridge and freezer unit compressor, this is it. So looking at some of the other features, you'll notice on the front of the compressor unit is the system controls. So rather using a one through seven rheostat dial that doesn't give you any feedback and precision control, Aussie Fridge uses a fully programmable digital thermostat unit. You can adjust the display to Fahrenheit Celsius. You can visually see what's going on in the unit and it gives an indication of when the compressor is running in case you can't hear it if it's buried somewhere. It also lets you adjust the cut in and cut off temperatures so that this compressor unit can operate both a freezer and a refrigerator from the same thermostat. And it also lets you tweak that hysteresis a little bit for how you want your box to operate. You know, because the hysteresis is the cut in and cut out temperature. There's a band that the compressor waits and lets the box warm up before it turns back on. You can tweak that a little bit with our help for efficiency's sake using a digital thermostat. Now the other features here on the control, it gives you an easily viewable air light. If the unit trips off, this air indicator light will flash a number of times, two flashes, three flashes. It'll tell you why it tripped off. Knowing why it tripped off and easily seeing that can help you figure out what to do to make it run again. Was it a low voltage? 
Was it a compressor overload? Was it an overheat? Was it a fan over amperage? Those things will help you troubleshoot and tell you why it tripped off. You have the main switch to turn the unit on and off. You have a manual switch or an auto. This will bypass the thermostat. There's sometimes you want to turn the unit on when you're servicing it, for example. You don't want it turning on and off based on the holding plate temperature. You want it to stay running. Maybe the thermostat failed. Maybe you're doing maintenance. There's, a, there's lots of reasons that may not be apparent why forcing the unit on could be handy. The next switch turns on and off the echo mode. This is a big feature that's unique to the Aussie fridge system where it's going to take advantage of excess power available, run the compressor unit, and store that power in the eutectic holding plates. So how does that work? When you turn on the echo mode, what it's going to do is monitor your 12 volt input battery voltage and look for incoming charge. That charge could be from a, an alternator when you're motoring, solar panels, once they've topped your battery up to a close to full charge indication, or maybe you're running your generator for a period of time. The echo mode system is going to see that incoming charge and take advantage of that charge by turning the compressor on and storing some of that power inside the holding plate. Because there's nothing more frustrating with a refrigeration unit. You just motor for 30 minutes into your anchorage. You're out of your anchorage or an hour. To, you're going up and down a long channel. You drop the anchor, you turn it off for a cocktail, the engine, well, then you hear your refrigeration unit kick on. Well, why wasn't that unit running when your alternator was putting out power, storing that cold energy inside the eutectic plates? Same thing goes with solar. Why isn't your compressor unit storing that 12 volt power that your solar controller is dumping because your batteries are full? store some of that power inside your eutectic holding plates. So the voltage at which that turns on is programmable by you based on your battery chemistry, and it goes a long way to the efficiency of the Aussie fridge system. The final switch here is just turning it into high condenser mode, which forces on the two fans. So if you're in a hot environment, you know you're doing a warm startup, you can just force on high speed. Another valuable feature on this panel display is a voltmeter. One of the leading causes of an LED air light and a unit tripping off, no matter whose brand of marine refrigeration equipment you have, is low voltage at the compressor. We all know that your voltmeter on your display panel can read 13.8, the voltage down at your equipment could be 12.5 or 11.9, something lower due to line loss or a corroded or loose electrical connection. Well, over the years of doing troubleshooting over the phone, one of our standard questions is, hey, what's the voltage at the compressor? Well, that leads to, hold on, let me get my voltmeter out. Oh, the batteries are dead. I don't know what it is. Well, you glance at your control panel and know what the battery voltage is at your compressor unit itself. Very handy. The actual control panel itself, as you've noticed here, can be mounted remotely. A lot of times a compressor unit gets mounted in a lazarette, an engine compartment, under a bunk, somewhere where you don't have easy access to view the thermostat, to change the settings. So we supply a stainless steel blank and an, an extension cable so that you can mount the system controls at a chart table, in a galley, somewhere that makes it more convenient to access. So that's a nice feature if you can't get easy access to this. So looking at what I call the business end of the unit, we have our electrical connections for incoming power. We have our thermostat connector. Then we have some additional power output leads 
to perhaps run a 12 volt fan inside your box if you want to unstratify the box temperatures or some other features that we'll talk about in, in later videos. We also have an onboard fuse that provides protection to all the system controls and the thermostat. So you'll have a breaker or a fuse feeding the system. We have an onboard fuse that covers the auxiliary equipment and the, the brains of the system as well. So looking at the bottom of the unit, it comes standard with vibration dampening mounting feet and then the actual compressor unit that is inside the stainless steel box it's mounted on vibration dampening feet as well so you have kind of double isolation of the compressor unit you're not going to hear the compressor running unless you have very good ears but a lot of the vibration can transfer so by having double vibration prevention here That'll cut down all the compressor noise. The only thing you're going to hear is a fan running. So one of the big features that makes the Aussie fridge one of the most easily installed and user serviceable system on the market are these industry standard off the shelf refrigeration connection points and a valve assembly. Your copper tubes coming from your box are going to plug into the high pressure and the low pressure fittings here. That'll take the refrigerant to your box and return it. This side of these refrigeration couplings is your Schrader valve. Industry standard, off the shelf. Every marine refrigeration technician around the world has fittings on his gauge set to get onto these charge ports. The other feature is that these are refrigeration valves, on-off valves. So what that does is it lets us test and ship this unit fully charged to you. The refrigeration valves are turned off. We supply an Allen wrench with the system and once you've made the copper tube connections to the inlet sides of the valve, the inlet and outlet lines, you're then going to open the refrigeration valves and let refrigerant flow. So you don't need to vacuum it down. It's all pre-charged and ready to go. That makes for an easy installation. You don't need to have refrigeration experience to do the installation of this unit. And by having refrigeration valves both on the inlet and the outlet ports, it makes troubleshooting easier and quite frankly possible down the road if something was to happen there's some specific tests you can do by closing the refrigeration valves running the unit taking some pressure readings a refrigeration tech will know about that and that's something we can also work with you on down the road so one of the other unique aspects of the Aussie fridge unit this whole process of designing and building this system is to maximize efficiency and non-failure out in the field because when you're cruising you're away from civilization so what's the number one failure of all marine refrigeration equipment it's the black box control modules every brand of refrigeration has the same problem voltage spikes and surges take out those black box controllers. So rather than just taking the approach, well, call us if, if yours dies and we'll send you a new one. It's not our fault. It's a voltage surge on your boat. Osfridge has taken a proactive step by putting a voltage suppressor on the inlet power lead. You'll notice there's a little diode here that will suppress voltage spikes and voltage surges. Since we've installed that as standard equipment on the Aussie fridge, the number of black box failures has just plummeted to almost an insignificant amount. But because we also know things can happen, and when your fridge and freezer goes out, that's a problem. So what else can fail? The compressor not really, that's a 200,000 hour life compressor. Once they pass the bench testing, they're usually good for longer than you're going to own the boat. The thermostat, yes, okay, we got a bypass built in for that with a switch, no problem. 
Well, what else can fail? Okay, we put a suppressor on for the black box to protect it, but the black box can fail. And those may not be on the shelf in your down island anchorage. So every Osfridge refrigeration system comes with a spare black box modular controller. A lot of companies charge $395 for those. If you can find one in the city or country that you're in, just because you know, you're out in an anchorage somewhere. So every Aussie fridge unit comes with that black box controller. Our philosophy is it's better to provide the known failure points that can keep you from having cold beer and ice cream than to take the phone call and go, yep, black box controller, let us ship it to you. It'll take a week to get there. So you're gonna have built into your system an extra spare module to protect yourself and keep your unit running in case there's a problem. So talking about what's inside this stainless steel box, the Aussie Fridge compressor itself is the largest 12 volt DC hermetically sealed compressor available on the market today. You've all heard about the Danfoss BD35, the BD50. The BD50 is the industry standard in terms of the largest size. If you look at the Aussie fridge compressor, it would be the equivalent of a BD90. So it's almost double the BTU removal capacity of the other systems on the market. The reason for that is twofold. First, if you don't have the BTU removal capacity available and your insulation isn't that good, you're in a hot environment, it doesn't matter. The compressor can run 24 hours a day. You're never going to get your box cold enough. You're not going to be able to have a fast box drawdown when you put new groceries into the box, when you, when you catch a fish and drop it in. You want that fast response time. Having a larger compressor gives you that quicker drawdown of the holding plates. Let the compressor cycle, bring it down to temperature and turn off. But the second thing it does for you is an e big efficiency advantage. You're better off efficiency wise to run a larger compressor in the more sweet spot of its power curve than you are to run a smaller compressor up at the maximum BTU removal capacity all the time. So that larger compressor, even though it's almost twice the BTU removal capacity of a Danfoss normal BD50 that most of the other folks are using, it's still using less amp hours on a daily basis when you put it in a system like Aussie fridge with a eutectic holding plate. So it's a big advantage. The other thing about our compressor is it's not just an on off, boom, boom, voltage drop, amps go up when you do a compressor start. It has a built in soft start mechanism so that the speed slowly ramps up. That helps the electronic control module. It helps your overall 12 volt DC system not have those shock loads as a compressor starts. So that's a quick overview of the Aussie Fridge Marine Refrigeration System. I'm always happy to help answer questions that may pop up. You can always email me at rich at cruiserservices.com or give me a phone call from the phone number on our website and I'll be happy to answer questions. Everyone have a great day and enjoy your Aussie fridge.